Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the suspension seat post that comes from the electric the from the electric company itself. This was the Black Friday special, so it came with the seat and the suspension seat post. And today I just wanted to show you how to do an adjustment on it. It's a little bit tricky. As you can see, this one is a little loose. So when I sit on it, I kind of fold down. So I want to tighten this up just a little bit. So we're going to take this off. And you have this cap on here. Now you just have to remove this cap. Just take a flathead screwdriver. Kind of like wedge it in there. Take your time and it should come out with a little bit of motivation. Okay. So there it is right there. Now as you could see it looks like an Allen wrench or a key would go in there but look how big that is. So I haven't really found anything that's specifically made to go in there but what I did find that I can that you can use is this the, the 3 8 extender bit here so I have a wrench set over there with a bunch of stuff and I found this 3 8 extender so it just goes on the socket wrench right there and it actually works perfectly it goes in there it's got the range and it's and it's, uh, it fits perfectly and then you just want to tighten it up a little bit or loosen it depending on your, you know, if it's too loose or too tight, you want it to support your weight. You don't want it to like fully sit down. When you sit down, it just bottoms out. You want it to support your weight, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too tight where it's not providing you the suspension that you want. So play around with it a little bit. So I think I might tighten that a little bit more. So clockwise is to tighten it and counterclockwise is to loosen it. As you can see, this little contraption works perfectly. It's got the range, it, it fits in nicely. A little bit more. And yeah, like I said, play around with it. You know, ride with it, see if you like it, try it again. I think that should be good. Okay, and then while we're here, let me give you a little dimensions on this. So the seat post, it's about 20 inches. Now this is the seat that they gave me from the Black Friday. And that one is, there you go, about 10 and a half, 11 inches by by about nine and a half inches and that's it so you basically need a 3 8 socket wrench and the 3 8 extender and that should go in there perfectly and you'll be able to adjust the, the suspension seat post I want to have the suspension seat post and the, the padded seat on there the stock seat is not comfortable and the stock suspension I mean if you're riding on you know just paved roads and straight roads you're, you're gonna be okay but this definitely helps out and if you don't get it from electric you could use the third-party ones which I'll link below as well uh, zoom makes a pretty good one as well and I'll do another follow-up video on different seats my brother-in-law has the stock seat and then he bought a cloud 9 seat and then this is the one that Electric sent me for the Black Friday special. So now I have all three seats I can compare. The Electric's Black Friday special seat, the Electric stock seat, and then the Cloud 9 seat. So I'll do a comparison on those in a future video. Okay guys, take care.